Do you adore the English country cottage style? So do I. Are you looking for affordable ways to decorate for fall in the cottage style? Today, you and I are accepting a fall decor challenge by finding secondhand treasures from thrift stores or antique stores to DIY or use as is. Welcome the fall season with me as we shop, decorate, and DIY in the cottage style Hello friend, welcome. I'm Rachel from the blog StoneCottageHome.com where we cultivate the art of home. In today's visit, we are accepting a budget-friendly home decor challenge. Hillary from Old World Home has issued her $5 Goodwill challenge. You will purchase something secondhand, give it a makeover if you wish, or use it as is in your fall decor. We will begin by popping into thrift and antique stores, imagine that, and hunting for some home decor treasures. Then, if something needs a makeover, we'll do some DIY. For more fall fun, stick around to the end of the video where you and I will create a vintage-inspired autumn tea tray. Let's go shopping! As you know, I love to begin with the thrift store before going to the antique store because sometimes you can find the same item for less money. Today I am on the lookout for baskets, a large platter, always artwork, I have a couple spots still left for lamps, and some cozy throw blankets and pillows for the living room. The autumn colors, the image of a cabin, and the metal shade caught my eye on this lamp. Let's see what they have in the textiles. This beige hand-knitted throw looks promising, but it has these funny-looking egg-shaped baubles. I could cut them off. The rust color and sheen on this checkerboard table runner is beautiful, and it goes with the lamp. While we're here, I skim through the art looking for frames, frosted glass, and subject matter that I really love. Artwork that is curated over time speaks to your personality and your design style. Now that I've practiced putting together several gallery walls in our home, I have a feel for our color palette and style. I'm always on the lookout for quality frames and well done artwork. The little girl knocking on the cottage door and this vintage looking mallard print would go nicely in our home. Now to look for a nice large ironstone platter and some serving bowls for the fall celebrations and Thanksgiving ahead. Lovely fall colors on this vintage platter. It was nicely crackled. I think it was $5. And here, blue and white has caught my eye again. It's always a good idea to keep an eye out for vases of unusual size and shapes. Now, this is a little off season, but this pink etched depression glass caught my eye. I have been looking for some salad plates or bread and butter plates in this color and similar style for a tea table. Here's a pretty grouping of silver. That Salt or pepper shaker looks interesting. Oh, this tray has a handle. Let's see. Oh, mystery price. That really is pretty though. How ornate. I wonder what this was used for. Someone donated a pretty good sized set of this ironstone. The pattern is called Indian Tree. It is fine Staffordshire ware. 
genuine hand engraving, all colors guaranteed. This platter looks fantastic. It's large. It's got fall colors on it. I love the fluted edging. This set included two large stacks of bowls and a gravy boat that could be pretty as a centerpiece. Now for some fabulously old treasures. We don't often come to this antique store, but it is huge. It has three big rooms that just go on and on. I have realized recently that antique stores seem so familiar to me. And when I was putting my finger on it, I realized that the more we shop for antiques and look at them, and the more we use them in our own home, the more familiar and homey they seem to us. This elegant lady seems refined and gentle. I wonder who she is and what her story is. The moody colors in this truly old art painting are gorgeous. Floral needlepoint and a well-laid table always get me. Antique settings like this one offer unique inspiration for setting tables in your own home. I don't know what this style of chair is called, but it is a work of art. And then there's this guy watching you. Let's head to the next level. As I've mentioned, I do love unique lighting and the antique store is a wonderful place to find lighting in every shape, size, and color, besides all the beautiful woodwork. In this cozy little alcove, I found a collection of transferware serving pieces. Wouldn't this be great for mashed potatoes? It's Ironstone and only $7. We have found some wonderful treasures today, thrifting and antiquing. Let's go home and work them into our fall cottage style decor. We are home from our shopping trip, which was tremendously fun and productive. I have found four things that qualify for the $5 Goodwill Challenge. The first thing I found was this adorable little round handmade basket. It has a solid wood handle and it was only 25 cents. So once fall is over, I plan to use this to corral some of the loose bagged spices we have in our baking cabinet. So it will be useful and adorable. Next, I found something for our autumn tea tray. I thought the colors on this tin were perfect for fall it's in great condition and just perfect for storing teas or apple cider or something like that. This was 67 cents. So next, I about squealed out loud when I saw this. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. All of my favorite fall colors, handmade, and just the quaintest, most charming. Look at this. This is a needlepoint. I'll give you a closer pan of it um, in a little bit, but the detail on this is just so charming. Okay, <laughs> you won't believe. But I got this for $1.57. Now I do have a plan for adding a little bit more to this frame because I feel like there's so much color and pattern and detail going on that this thin frame kind of cheapens the work that was done here. So I want to put a more substantial frame from my stash. And lastly, I found another piece of art. Don't be too surprised. It is this vintage looking set of mallards swimming on a lake. The colors 
are just beautiful. I love how it's framed. Now I also have from my stash some frosted glass so that there won't be quite so much of this glare going on. This piece was $2.53. And I'm thinking that it would look good either on the top of the hutch, possibly, or featured on our bookcases in the living room. So, all together, my four pieces came to $5.02. Hopefully, y'all won't mind that I'm two cents over. I felt like these four pieces would be ideal for the country cottage style in our fall home decor, and I can't wait to see how they get worked in. Here is my little thrift haul for the $5 Goodwill Challenge. Well, $5.02. I got the vintage looking tin, the duck print, the little basket, and this wonderful needlepoint. Let's begin by upgrading the duck print with frosted glass, then add a more substantial frame to the needlepoint before moving on to decorate our antique hutch for fall. Frosted glass has a wonderful color enriching and glare blocking effect. Here is the frame I pulled up from my stash. It's solid wood. It fits perfectly around the existing frame and it has this little gold delicate detail. This may be the simplest reframe I've ever done. A little Gorilla Glue around the edge and snap it into place. A perfect fit! Now to decorate our antique hutch in the English cottage style for fall. See if you can spot any of the pieces from our hunting trip earlier today. Largest pieces first. Then, to even out our color spacing, I use the transfer wear bowl to cover that left white platter. Medium sized pieces next, striving to balance shape, height, and color as we go. I've learned when decorating open shelving that the large pieces act as bones, giving structure to your design. The medium pieces give shape to your design, especially when forming a vignette. The rule of three works well in a vignette, giving a sense of visual balance. Old books are great for adding character, fall color, and height. I've also found books to be a great way to ground a vignette that seems to be floating. Here you see I have the rule of three, but it doesn't quite seem to go together. Once this book is added, it groups all of these together, grounding all of the items as a collection. And lastly, the small items add that personal touch of style to your vignette. For fall decorating, or any decorating, really, I enjoy adding natural elements. So the pine cones definitely are natural, but also the texture from the woven basket. It gives an interest and a homey feel to each vignette. Another element I enjoy adding to my decorating is shine. Now, I am not a blingy, sparkly person but I enjoy the mellow, soft glow of copper and brass. To complete my look, I create a vignette to one side on top of the hutch since the chandelier fills the other side visually. I love how this vintage duck print fits perfectly with all the other colors and the style.
here we are, my friends. It is time to create our autumn tea tray. I am loving the warm, vibrant colors. As a backdrop, the Amish needlepoint sets the tone for our fall tea tray, telling a quaint small town story of a man who has a tackle shop. You may recognize this green teacup and sugar bowl. By choosing classic, traditional home decor, I find I can use it across many seasons. Speaking of classics, Earl Grey by Twinings has got to be one of the finest, longest-standing traditional teas. Another favorite is chai. This is decaffeinated, so it can be enjoyed in the evening as well. And what is tea without shortbread cookies? This is a new brand for me. It looks wonderful and it is made with real butter. Everything is set, friend, on our autumn tea tray. Won't you join me for a cup of tea? Which would you rather have, Earl Grey from Twinings or a decaf chai? Earl Grey it is. Enjoy, my friend, and thank you for coming along with me today. And if you were wondering, the cookies were phenomenal. You will find links for those and both of the teas in the description box below. What kinds of treasures have you found thrifting and antiquing for this fall season? How would you describe your decor aesthetic? I would like to thank Hillary from Old World Home for hosting this $5 Goodwill Challenge. Remember to check the playlist below to get all kinds of inspiration from the other people who have joined this challenge. Soon, my husband and I will be taking some time off to enjoy the fall season together. I will see you when I return.
What fun to welcome the fall season with you. To continue the fun, subscribe and join the Stone Cottage Home family. In a future visit, I'm planning to share with you some inspiration for a cozy English country cottage living room refresh. If you enjoyed your visit today and got some fun, creative, inspiring ideas, please share the video and give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos for you like this one. Until next time, take care.